folks. Tim here from High and Cheap Tech. And for Christ's sakes, can we stop the madness? Quit copying Apple's design language. You know, they make great hardware. But they also make some of the ugliest products and the worst decisions ever in the history of smartphones, earbuds, and all that crap. We'll get to that right after the intro, coming up next. So I'm going to start off by saying, yeah, I'm back now, uh, that uh, there's just, you know, Apple makes some fantastic hardware. Not picking on them for that. Overpriced, albeit, and you can get Apple fanboys and girls to purchase anything that says Apple on it, apparently, uh, mindlessly. I mean, Apple could sell Swiss cheese without the holes in it and tell you it was better, uh, which would mean it's probably not Swiss cheese. And Apple owners would go, oh, I got to have some of that. So, you know, the Apple faithful will always buy Apple products. It's just a fact of life. I mean, face it, they, they're they still putting up with the, what do you call it, the, you know, the Apple connection instead of going over to USB-C on their smartphones. But Apple has come up with some of the worst design choices, looks, etc. I mean, the first thing they did they took out the headphone jack, and then they, you were stuck with a dongle. For one year, they gave you one, and then all of a sudden, it's like an extra 30 bucks. So if you want headphones, you're either going to go Bluetooth or you're going to buy the dongle. <coughs> uh, and then they came out with what has to be one of the most copied things out there, the stupid ass notch. And of course, the tech reviewers will all, you know, tech reviewers are more interested in how good are the cameras and how, you know, okay, that's fine. Oh, you get used to the notch bullshit. That is absolute crap. I don't. AirPod clones uh, or AirPod Pro clones, you know, TWS. Okay, folks. I'm sorry. I'm sure there's a method behind the madness of having them, you know, come down and then a little notch on your ears, and that it, you know, makes them feel a little more secure and all. But on the other hand, you, you know what they look like when I see them? That you got drunk at a party, and uh, your friends took a couple of toothbrushes out of here toothbrush glass where you keep all your toothbrushes, snap the handles off, and then stuck them in your ear, and you woke up in the morning going, oh, and then looks in the mirror, and like, what the hell? Oh, oh, yeah. That's what they look like. They look like broken off toothbrushes stuck in your ear. Simply the ugliest design ever created by man for any kind of earbud, I'll take the, you know, El Cheapo electors or, you know, any anything, even the expensive ones. These kind of look like, you know, they're pretty big because they get good uh, battery life. And uh, and I still want, uh, coming up on the screen, the Elector D12s. If Elector would like to send me a set, that'd be great. Somebody would like to buy me a set or if somebody out there would just do a review on them, I'd love it. 2,600 milliamp hour uh, case. So quit copying Apple. And later today I want to do a, a live stream and discuss this subject about copying Apple and how it can be a really bad idea. Because just because they can, you know, sell Swiss cheese without holes in it, to their fans at twice the price uh, doesn't mean it's a good idea. 
It might still taste like Swiss cheese, but it's not if it doesn't have the holes in it. It's bad design. Swiss cheese is supposed to have holes in it, uh, if you know what I mean. Uh, so, that's all I have. Uh, we're thinking of doing a live stream this afternoon, either at 2, 3, or 4 p.m., one of those three, to discuss this. But I need enough people to commit to actually watching that, you know, coming in for me to waste my time. And and we're just going to use the fill light. I'll still have outside light like I have right now coming in. And we'll go as long as the fill light lasts. I probably will turn it down a notch. I got it wide open now. Uh, and, of course, it's going to be at 720p using the stock microphone on the Mi A2 here, which I think works rather well. It works very well as far as I'm concerned. Uh, or I could switch over and use the new mobile G3. Who knows? No, we'll be using the Mi A2. Otherwise, I'd have to put a, a, a lavalier mic on and plug it in with a dongle. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Apple, for the dongle. Uh, so if you would be interested in watching a live stream and, and can verify that you'll be there at whatever time. Now, uh, the times I gave you to, 3 or 4 p.m., are Central Standard Time. For those of you who can't do math well, that's, let's just go with 4 p.m. That would be 5 p.m. Eastern Standard. It would be 3 p.m. I don't know. Yeah, 2 p.m on the West Coast, and God knows what out in Hawaii, but I don't think I have any subscribers from there. I don't know. We'll find out. But I just want to try the uh, Streamlabs one more time, and, and it'll be short, you know, 15, 20 minutes, and we'll discuss the stupidity of uh, these AirPods clones as far as looks go. I'm not saying they don't work good. But, it, you know, quit copying Apple. If you could copy their hardware, that'd be great. But don't copy their design language. They make some of the fugliest things on Earth. And they're good at it. And they can, you know, if they were... Yeah, all I can see when I see pictures of Stephen Jobs, I see him in one of them plaid suits like the two guys from uh, Used Cars. Uh, it's an old movie. Look it up. Watch it if you can find it. It's funny as hell. Yeah, selling absolute pieces of crap to people. Yeah, oh, that's just, that's not rust. It's just... Uh, they put those brown spots on them right behind the fender wells. Yeah, that kind of thing. Apple could sell ice cubes to Eskimos if they were Apple fans. That's a fact. All right, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below what time. Two, three, or four. Any later than that. And we're not going to have much light in here again, and I don't want to sit here and fire up all them phones to get enough light. So uh, we're going to go with that. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Hi, folks. Tim here just cutting in. Quick message about TubeBuddy.com. As you will see coming up on the screen right now, TubeBuddy is the premier tool for helping you edit and maintain your presence as a creator on YouTube. It integrates flawlessly. If you have a free version, uh, it goes right into your browser and you use it as you're you know, doing your editing and uh, and uploading. And it, it's an excellent tool. Uh, as far as prices go, the price is coming up on the screen. Um, if you get the free version, a lot of times they'll offer you uh, They'll make you an offer. They made me an offer 
and I'm only paying four dollars and fifty cents a month. So check it out at the link that you're going to see on the screen and at the link below uh, www.tubebuddy.com forward slash high end cheap tech. And now let's get back to that video we were doing.